we'll continue the discussion on the numerical problems on the third module bearing capacity of formulations and the fifth question you have a rectangular footing 3 meter by 2 meter in plan and rests on a C5 soil with its base at 1.5 meter below the ground level you are asked to calculate the safe bearing capacity with a factor of safety of 3 considering case A ultimate bearing capacity case B net ultimate bearing capacity unit weight gamma is given as 18 C is given as 10 kilopascal phi is given as 30 degrees and you should use the Tazagi's theory so compiling the data given in the question gamma is 18 kN per meter cube length L is 3 meter which is a longer among the dimensions given breadth B which is a shorter is 2 meter DF is given as 1.5 meter depth of foundation C cohesion is given as 10 kPa and phi is given as 30 degrees now again from the charts available you can interpolate the value of NC, NQ and N gamma from the value of phi given so NC turns out to be 37.2 NQ is 22.5 and N gamma is 19.7 and since it's a rectangular foundation we know that the equation to estimate QU is with two factors, shape factors, 1 plus 0.2b by L and 1 minus 0.2b by L in the first and the third term respectively, in which uh, B is given, L is given, C is given, NC, NQ, N gamma parameters we know from phi equal to 30 degrees. Gamma is directly given as 18. Nothing is said about the water table, so you don't have to worry about the effect of water table. DF is given as 1.5 meter, and every other terms are already given the question. So uh, substituting that value, you get QU is equal to 421.6 plus 607.5 plus 307.32 or QU is equal to 1336.42 kilopascals. So that's the gross ultimate bearing capacity. And to get the net ultimate bearing capacity, you have QNU is equal to QU minus gamma DF. Gamma is again already given, DF is already given. So 1336.42 minus 18 into 1.5 gamma DF. So you get value of QNU as 1309.42 kilopascal from which using a factor of safety 3 you get QNU by factor of safety is equal to QNS is equal to 436.5 kilopascal which physically means that the foundation which is 3 by 2 meter in plan when installed at the depth of 1.5 meter in sandy soil uh, of cohesion 10 and 5 30 degrees so it's C5 soil it can take safely a stress of 436.5 kilopascal so a designer would estimate Q capital Q by multiplying 436.5 into 3 into 2 so 436.5 into 6 meters will give you the total load Q that the foundation of this nature can safely carry. Next question, you have a square footing that fails by shear in cohesion less soil under an ultimate load of 1687.5 kips. The footing is placed at the depth of 6.5 feet below the ground level and soil has a angle of internal friction 35 degrees and unit weight 110 pounds per cubic feet you're asked to determine the size of the footing if the water table is at a great depth you can take nq as 41.4 and n gamma as 42.4 so fundamentally this question is not consistent with the unit that we practice in india but still it's a square footing and you're asked to find the dimensions of the square footing and 
the load the ultimate load it should carry is 1687.5 kips now kips is nothing but kilo pounds where uh, one pound turns out to be around 0 0.45 kilogram and I think you're familiar with the feet 6.5 feet is given one foot is approximately 0 0.305 meters so that's that's one peculiarity of the question it's nothing related to the Indian standard still it's an engineering problem so uh, the question looks like this you have a square footing and the depth is 6.5 meter unit weight of soil is 110 pounds per cubic feet and the load that comes over the footing is 1687 kips and your job is to design that footing or the square footing and arrive at the dimension gamma is given 110 df is given 6.5 c is equal to zero so it's pure sand so we know the equation to estimate qu for a square footing 1.2 c and c plus gamma df and q plus 0.4 gamma b and gamma so it's nothing but a rectangular foundations equation in which l is equal to b so the shape factor turns out to be 1.2 in the first term and 0.4 in the last term since c is equal to zero the first term cancels out and you are left with the second and the third term in which gamma is given 1100 df is given 6.5 nq is already given in the question which corresponds to 535 degrees and gamma again is given b is the unknown and n gamma is already given so you will fundamentally get an equation connecting q u with the unknown b but we know that the load that acts on the footing is 1687 kips which means qu 1687 is equal to the unknown q u small q which means ultimate multiplied by b square i shall repeat q u capital is a load and Q u small is the stress, which is nothing but the ultimate bearing capacity. So b square when multiplied by small q u will give you the capital Q, the load. So in short, you can use these two equations to get a solution for cubical expression on b, solving which gives you a value of 6.4 feet. In short, when you have a square footing, of 6.4 foot in length and breadth and when laid at 6.5 feet below the ground level it can safely carry a load of 1687 kips under this condition.